Hey guys, I'm Mark from Vintage Outdoors, and uh, in this uh, pretty Easter egg tin I have here, I've got a bunch of punk wood, and uh, we're gonna char it up. Um, the weather looks like it's turning on us pretty quick, so we're trying to, just trying to pack up a few things. I put my hammock away, so I'll be sleeping in the trailer tonight. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna, um, I'll give you, I'll come and give you a close up first. All right. So here we have our bucket full of punk wood. It's uh, nice and spongy, and uh, pretty nice, perfect. Anyway. But I like to keep mine in a little bit of uh, bigger chunks because I, I like to uh, just take little pieces and stick it on top of my uh, my stone and hit hit with my uh, with my striker. But uh, anyway, we're gonna char this up, and as with all charred material, um, you try to do it with the prettiest can you can find. And I got a little hole on the top here, so hopefully this will work fine. We're just gonna go uh, drop close this up and drop it into the coals. All right, guys. As with all charred material, you know you stick your uh, stick your piece in the coals, let it do its thing. It's gonna keep going. It's gonna start smoking through the top soon. Although it looks like it's smoking through the sides, but uh, anyway, as long as the smoke is getting out, it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna let that go for a bit. There we go. Smoke's coming up the top now. We'll let that go for a bit, and um, we'll check it in about five minutes or so. We'll let it completely cool down. Well, you guys know this. You know, it's charred material, right? You char everything pretty much the same way. So. We'll let that go, and we'll uh, we'll check it out. Then, uh, you know, it's, if it, if I'm lucky, it'll burn off all that pretty purple paint. So uh, anyway, I'll come back again in a couple of minutes when the uh, when the smoke's done, and uh, we'll check out our product. So as you see, the smoke is kind of slowing down, but if you just give it a little wiggle, sometimes wiggle the can around, it'll move some of the stuff around. And the uh, stuff that hasn't burnt yet will uh, will catch. So we're just gonna leave it like that again for a couple more minutes. Looks like it's just about done, but we'll check it out and uh, see how well we did. All right, so we have no more smoke coming out anymore. So we're just gonna drag this puppy out. Just gonna drag it out and uh, let it get cool to touch. Because uh, if you probably open it up now, it'll probably just burst into flames once you let the oxygen get to it. Uh oh, here comes the rain. So. We're going to knock this off right here, let that cool off, and uh, hopefully it doesn't get too soaked. I'm going to put this over it and block the hole so the rain doesn't get in, and uh, it's time It's time to go hide, guys. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. I know this, this can already looks better. It's got some burn marks on it. It's got a lot of the pretty off of it, so we're on our way. We're on our way to a man's can. Let's see if we can open this up here. Take a look. There we go. There's our charred punk wood. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my flint and steel with me today, but um, when I get home from this trip, I'm going to uh, do, a, do a, I'll do a test with this stuff, and I'll show you how it looks, how it works. But uh, actually, here, I can, I can. There we go, guys. See that? Just a little, a little shot. We'll get that stuff going now. Ow, that's on my finger. So, there's some good tinder to put into a tinder bundle. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you like this uh, this quick little video. Um, you know, we're out on a camping trip this uh, this week and we try to, do, uh, try to put together a few of them for you. So, I hope you like them. Anyway, uh, Stay tuned, uh, my vacation is not quite done yet, and I got another vacation coming up, we'll be doing the, uh, the giveaway. So, um, you guys take care, get out and explore, and enjoy the outdoors.